Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing great. I got a story, actually I don't have a story. We're gonna talk about a gentleman, an investor, a great investor, a contrarian, someone that I understand because I have similar personality traits as this man. Then we're gonna talk about Michael Burry. We're gonna talk about deleted tweets. We're gonna talk about all kinds of stuff and why. You guys know that I was following Michael Burry's work back in uh, 05, 06, 06. Um, it was really 2006 when I was starting to really read up about him and I was liquidating all my real estate because I completely agreed with his thesis about the mortgage-backed security market. Uh, got out with uh, only three properties I held on to. And by mid-2006, just watch the dominoes just fall, the bricks crumble. It was amazing to be able to yell at the TV at Ben Bernanke saying, you're absolutely wrong. Tell them the truth. He knew the truth that the market was collapsing, but he wanted to be able to save his book rights for, oh, hey, Ben Bernanke, the guy that's consistently wrong, has a book coming out. Don't buy it. That's financial advice. Save the 19 bucks. All right, guys, we got our notes. And just so you know, Michael, I know that you're watching this video right now. I want to interview you. Why? Because I know you don't like to do interviews. Why? Because people mock or people criticize, or then they just want something out of you only for you to be torn apart later in the media. Trust me, I, I get it, but I'm nowhere near as big as you, but come on to the Ninja. If anybody knows uh, Michael Burry, let's get you on. I will fly anywhere in the country to sit down with you because uh, I really appreciate your work. I think it's huge. So first off, we're gonna talk about um, deleted tweets. I'm gonna give you my opinion on why Michael Burry deletes tweets. Two reasons, first off, uh, Mockers are going to mock, right? Why not? He wants to put the truth out there. Michael has uh, been consistently right, right? And what people, you know, they've got to find the, the low-hanging fruit. So people want to sound important and try and, you know, grab onto his fame. Uh, so what they do is they mock him by saying, well, yeah, you might have been right but you, you weren't right on the timing. It's like, okay, copy. You know, who, who really knows the timing? I would never bust Michael Burry's, uh, I won't say that on the camera, but you know, I wouldn't bust him for that, right? He has been consistently right, and he is a contrarian, and he understands market cycles. And that's what I want everyone here, uh, part of Ninja Nation, to understand these market cycles, because I want you to thrive. I want you to go out and crush it. Well, the thing is, he goes, look, I'm gonna put out the truth, because now he's in a position where He's got a lot of people following him and they, and people should follow him. He's great, very intelligent. And, but it's like, look, I'll put out the truth and then I'm going li to let it sit there and then I'll, boom, pull it back. Right. Another thing too, is I believe that he's trying to build up a sense of urgency because even though, uh, you know, Michael Burry, when he started shorting the housing market or the MBS market way back when it took a long time for it to happen. And I know what that was like because I was liquidating my homes, telling everyone to run for the hills, sell their real estate, um, and get ready because the market was going to crash. And it took time and people don't understand time. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with you, foolish people do not understand time because it takes a certain amount of time for markets to work their way down to a collapse, right? Because honestly, a lot of people were just being lied to, like by Ben Bernanke saying, um, I don't agree with this thesis that we have on a lot of traders in Wall Street saying that you know real estate can drop all at the same time. I just don't believe that. Um, and he was 100% wrong, right? But then even people then now forget that he was wrong and they're out there like idiots buying his book, wasting $19. It's the only advice I'm gonna give you financially. Save yourself 19 bucks. Don't buy that dude's book. So that's why I believe he deletes his tweets, right? And I say more power to him. It's actually probably getting him much more recognition for deleting his tweets than leaving them up. So Michael, good job. I know you're still watching this video. All right, broken clock status. Let's say the assume broken clock status tweet. I think that is so vitally important. And this is why Michael understands something that very few people understand. Well, we've all heard the saying a broken, even a broken clock is right twice a day, right? And that is usually used in a mocking sense, right? Um, that, okay, uh, your stuff hasn't come to pass now, you know, even a broken clock's tw right twice. So sure, you could be right, but look at all this money I'm making over here. Here's the point I wanna make. Wealthy people throughout the dawn of time became wealthy during very bad times for one reason and one reason only, because they were positioned when properly when nobody else was positioned. So while the building's on fire, the financial building's on fire, everyone's running out, the person that's positioned is slowly walking in just, and I mean slowly, because he goes, as the fire burns the building down even harder, there's just more and more deals to be made. So he's just rubbing his hands going, don't worry, I got this. Michael Burry understands that, right? But fools, the 99% of the world, that's why you have 1% elite, 99% of just people running around like chickens with their heads cut off, they don't understand it. They're like, 
what do you mean the stock market fall down? Everything's going up. You can't lose. That's how it was right before the Great Depression. That's how it was right before the dot-com bubble popped. That's how it was right before the real estate bubble popped and Lehman Brothers closed their doors. I want you to understand this. If you are not a contrarian, you are going to consistently lose. Why? You may see gains in economic cycles, those seven to 10 year cycles, and go, hey, I'm making money, but then it goes wiped out. Yeah, hey, everything's good, wiped out. Tell that to the uh, people that, or ask the people that were you know, pilots for, I don't remember, the you know, Continental or Delta, or I don't remember what companies were, in 2005, 2006, that just had their pensions completely stripped away. You know, hey, I'm making a good living, I'm making a good retirement, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, bam, gone. They gotta go back to work. Matter of fact, I've ran into pilots that have had this happen to them that actually follow the channel because of some of the videos I did. Michael Burry understands that, right? So he's okay with being patient. Why? Because patience paid off for Michael Burry in 2004 to 2008 as he was being patient and he was having to keep those short positions. Man, those short positions cost a lot of money. If you haven't seen the big short, there are a couple places if you uh, wouldn't watch with your kids. There's, there's a couple scenes in there, it's not appropriate, but you need to go watch that. It's an amazing movie. It's a documentary of this gentleman and his team that saw things different than everyone else. And just like me and how I'm wanting to prepare all of you to think like a contrarian, right? If you're, if you're not hedged for inflation, you're in trouble. There are some very serious defaults coming and I want people to understand that. You know, not only do we have food shortages and all that stuff, that is only gonna exacerbate the problem, but we've got very serious problems in the bond market, in the stock market. Uh, the Fed is not going to be able to fix inflation. As a matter of fact, Michael Burry came out with a tweet the other day that was really impressive and I'm gonna be going from memory, it's not on my notes. And uh, he was talking about the Federal Reserve. You know, the Federal Reserve stated that in June, they were at a certain date, they're going to start buying or start selling their treasuries, and they did not do that. <laughs> they, um, they're holding, sorry. Uh, they only sold a mere fraction of what they were supposed to sell. Why? Because they can't do it, because the market's tanking. The market can't purchase those crappy assets that the uh, Fed has on its balance sheet. The Fed's starting to freak out, I bet, because they're going, oh, crap. I hope they don't know we're a private bank. We don't want this crap, but we're just holding it right now to try and prop up the market. They can't sell it. And so Michael Burry came out there and he said, hey, kicking a drug habit's pretty much, it's a hard thing to do. I'm paraphrasing because I don't have it in front of me, but you guys see my point. The point is, is that the economic ninja wants you to pay attention to people like Michael Burry. Don't listen to the mockers that would mock him for saying his time was off. When he says assume broken clock status, Understand that you are waiting for an event and it only comes around once every so often. And this one, this is the big one. This is the hundred year cycle. Think about that. So I want you, and I know Michael, you're still there listening, wants you to be in a position to not only survive, but thrive during this next crash. I'm sure that if I was in front of Michael Burry and I asked him, if there was one thing that he really wanted to do during this next crash, what would it be? I'll bet you Michael Burr would say, I want to take a bunch of people with me. It's, it's, it's one thing to be right like he was in 2008 and make billions of dollars. He absolutely wiped the floor with those Wall Street insiders like in Goldman Sachs that were mocking him. Wiped the floor with them. But it's no fun unless you could take people with you. And that's why I'm here. And I thank you guys for watching. And if anybody knows Michael, or Michael, you're still watching this, and do me a favor, guys, hashtag Michael Burry. Hashtag the, the big short in this video. Shows me you're still here, but I wanna interview Michael Burry. Why? Because I wanna interview the right thinkers, the great minds, the people, the contrarians that go against the flow of all the morons and go, we're going this way. When everybody else is going that way, don't worry, we're going this way. And this way is gonna lead to prosperity. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching The Economic Ninja. I'll get that is out.